Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas, on Friday, June the 18th, and welcome to our video commentary. Well, I'm sure you're hearing or you've heard about the audit in Arizona. Uh, the state of Arizona, through the legislature, has is doing an audit of Mariposa County, which is, I guess, the largest county in Arizona. I'm assuming that's where the Phoenix metropolitan area is of course, the largest in Arizona. And they're doing an audit team, want to make sure that all the votes were cast correctly and so on. I have no problem with that, by the way. I think that every state probably should do that from time to time because I think voter integrity uh, is fair, paramount. Uh, you simply cannot have any questions about your voting. Uh, you're always going to have some controversies in a special election. That's the name of the game. But Vote both sides better accept the results because if they don't, then you're going to have all kinds of problems. Now, nevertheless, I have not said anything about the Arizona recount or audit, not really a recount, the audit, because I want to wait for the results. Uh, I think this could be a very important case or it could be a nothing burger. I mean, it could be one of the two. If nothing shows up, then that's fine. Nothing showed up and then we can at least put that issue uh, on the side. But if there are questions, uh, if there are questions, then I think they should be looked into. Now, I will make a prediction today, if there are major problems with the Arizona audit, uh, and it shows, for example, that President Trump won the election in Arizona. I mean, I think it was only 10,000 difference. But more importantly, uh, that Senator McNally won her re-election. I think that's the one that could be impacted, the senatorial election. If that were to happen, I think you could see a landslide of other audits in other places. But I don't want to get that far ahead because I really don't know. I think today all I'm going to say is that the audit is underway. It should happen. And let's wait for the results. I'm not necessarily cheering for one result or the other. What I want is confirmation that it was an honest election in Arizona, because I think we all need that. We all need that. And hopefully, hopefully it turns out that way, because I think if it doesn't, then you're going to have a commotion of problems, not just in Arizona, but in other states, especially for the U.S. Senate. That election was pretty close, too. And that could really uh, put in jeopardy the legitimacy of Senator Kelly, who is the senator there who beat uh, Senator McCalley in 2020. Thank you for watching. And if today is your birthday, happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.